welcome to this program, uh, Jenna Shreem. The program focuses on women empowerment and a major cause of sexual gender-based violence against women and girls within Liberia. My name is Chris Williams and you are watching CTV Africa. For today, my guest is from Quality Now. She's a lawyer and her name is Anita Enjong and we'll be discussing child trafficking within Liberia. Equality Now is in Liberia. They are training uh, the Liberia National Police about how to tackle child trafficking. So we take a short break when we come back, we dive into our discussion and bring our guests. Keep watching. Welcome back. Um, if you are just joining us, this is a reminder that you are watching Jenna Scream and this is TV Africa. I'm Grace Williams and today we are discussing child trafficking within Liberia. My guest is from Equality Now. She's called Anita Angel. She's the one uh, running a two-day sports shop conducted by Equality Now here at Bolivar Palace, Morova, Liberia. Madam, you are highly welcome to my platform. Thank you very much. Wow. So uh, we will want to know a little bit about Anita, who is Anita and what she has been into through her life. Okay. So, uh, my name is Anita Nyanjong and I work for Equality Now. I'm a lawyer by training. So what motivated me to join uh, women's rights? First of all, um, I'm enthusiastic about protection of women and promotion of their rights um, uh, in the world. And uh, I believe that you know, women are an important aspect of our society. They're important in our society. And we need to eliminate patriarchy um, uh, that subdues women and, and makes um, uh, them not realize their rights. So um, Anita, I consider myself an activist, of, uh, an African feminist, and I believe that uh, um, uh, we need to emancipate uh, the women in Africa. That's a very wonderful point, like uh, you are speaking like of your African woman, but now you have been in Liberia for like uh, three to four days now, looking at uh, the uh, workshop you've been con uh, conducting, are uh, the participants, are they really uh, giving in to your idea? Great. Um, we have been training uh, uh, the police, uh, the Liberia National Police, uh, on uh, aspect around eliminating uh, sex trafficking particularly. And we've had a wonderful two days um, with about 40 police officers um, through the Women and Children Protection Unit. Um, the anti-trafficking unit as well as the transnational uh, uh, crime unit. Um, so we have had um, excellent discussion around what is human trafficking uh, in itself, um, what constitutes human trafficking, but more particularly uh, because the concern around uh, uh, women and girls rights is about sex trafficking. Uh, we know that uh, the trafficking of women for sexual exploitation is um, actually rampant in the world and indeed in Africa. So um, we wanted to have uh, the Liberia National Police understand the concept around sex trafficking in particular because we also understand that Liberia uh, uh, is a source uh, and destination country uh, for trafficking, for of sexual. Of course, Liberia yeah. is at uh, the ice cream end with yeah. uh, mm. child trafficking. Mm. But uh, looking at the fact that there are a lot of children uh, doing maybe a on the street of Morovia, between cars, setting pure water, maybe sometimes they are setting chewing, chewing gum, and if you try to follow up these kids, you will know that uh, they are not from Mosrado County, they are from various counties that they were brought into Mosrado by people that may have promised their parents that, oh, I'll send your child to school, I'm taking the child to Morovia to give them better education, mm -hmm. but now they'll bring the children here and uh, there will be no education at all. Yeah. So were you able to address the Liberian like, National Police on that and uh, find out things they are put in place to get rid of the kids on the street? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have had that discussion uh, during the training. Um, indeed, internal trafficking is rampant in uh, Liberia, and the police have actually confirmed that. Uh, but uh, importantly, we have equipped police with the necessary knowledge, um, and we have been able to learn about some of the challenges that the police experience um, in, in investigating trafficking cases, because most trafficking cases are very organized. Um, and and uh, we stressed as much as possible the importance of prosecution uh, of those who are complicit in uh, trafficking of children um, uh, internally in uh, Liberia. Um, so yes, that was uh, 
an excellent discussion we had uh, in the two-day workshop. We are trying to build a movement uh, of organizations, of women organizations in Africa, not only in Liberia, uh, that advocate for uh, protection of women, especially around the aspect of sex trafficking. So we believe that uh, women's voices are an integral part in this um, uh, campaign, and, and therefore um, Liberia uh, civil society uh, will, uh, will be an integral part uh, of our work in Liberia. And with equality now, uh, their dreams is that uh, Africa should become free when it comes to women exploitation and uh, perpetration, like uh, people trying to go against women giving in a right. Yeah. That's really wrong. But looking at the fact now that this is uh, very hard to achieve if you are not on ground, what are you planning to do in that direction? Yeah, that's an excellent question. Um, we believe that uh, working with local partners is an integral part uh, um, um, or in any uh, campaign. Uh, of course, we are not present in every country, but we want to build the capacity of local organizations uh, towards ensuring that uh, um, you know, they're able to do the legal advocacy by themselves. Uh, currently in Liberia, we work with two organi three organizations. Sorry. Uh, we work with uh, West Point Women, who are uh, a coalition of organizations uh, working directly with uh, uh, survivors, uh, uh, victims of sexual That's violence. Be, yeah. um, we also work with uh, the Liberia Association of Female Sociologists, who have uh, assisted us even in developing a baseline, uh, conducting a baseline survey. We have also worked with international organizations here, including World Hope International, uh, who have jointly with us have been conducting the police training. Okay, yeah. that's a very, very fast start. I love your uh, platform for the implementation, and I would like to know a little bit about you wanting to implement a plan that you have for like you. Um, yes, so we have a four-year strategy um, and, and part of the strategy is um, understanding the context of trafficking for sexual exploitation in Liberia. Uh, we have uh, begun, um, we've read the law, um, the Anti-Trafficking Act of Liberia. Uh, we want to, um, uh, in any, um, if you want to address sex trafficking particularly, you also have to look at other laws. So we are also looking at laws such as the rape law. Um, we are looking at um, um, uh, the constitution of Liberia itself, which talks about ending slavery. So we want to use uh, the various laws um, and understanding that uh, trafficking for sexual exploitation um, happens in, the, in, a, in a certain context. So women who are trafficked, um, um, are most likely um, uh, in prostitution and the interlinkage between trafficking and prostitution. So yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, that's a very, very fun one, but for now, if you are just joining us, this is a reminder that you are watching CTV Africa. My name is Chris Williamson. Today we are discussing child trafficking. Uh, the UNODC uh, report of 2016 uh, and 17 has noted that uh, more women are trafficked for sexual exploitation and uh, mostly they use them in the prostitution. Um, so um, uh, prostitution and the sex industry itself is very organized crime and uh, it sustains um, um, uh, so many people in the sense that uh, those who use women uh, ensure that they use them uh, in prostitution. So they prostitute them uh, in a bid to, you know, use them uh, enrich themselves. Enrich themselves. Okay. Um, so Liberia, um, uh, of course, um, uh, is a source and destination country, meaning um, that women all are also uh, transported or uh, uh, harbored or received. Uh, uh, in, in other countries uh, or also in Liberia itself. Yeah, so like, uh, yes. So. There was a scandal a few years back about it, uh, some Lebanese that actually uh, took Liberians women mm. out of the country yeah. in the name that, oh, I will give you a work to do. Yeah. But they went and uh, started getting an engagement to sexual uh, act, uh, activities, pay me for money, and she will sleep with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, the government were able to step in. But I want us to look at it uh, on a local level. Mm. There are a lot of female, if I do my personal survey, like my program now, usually won't. One, I visited uh, 
uh, place the last time where that was crowded with a lot of prostitutes. And when I went there, I was able to notice that half of those girls that were actually into prostitution are not from Maserati. They were either imported from another county only based on the name of uh, sexual exploitation. Like you were saying, you pay me money, I'll be able to sleep with you. Like I'm the host, she's staying with me, mm. you give me the money, she mm. sleep with you. Yeah. And I use her because she's vulnerable. Yeah. Is there any program your organization is putting in place to help sexual women on yeah. the street? Yeah, absolutely. Indeed, um, uh, we understand that uh, you know the you know, prostitution is very organized crime. Um, um, uh, many people are involved in this crime and uh, they exploit women's vulnerabilities. So equality now, um, uh, uh, our work is centered on law reform and legal advocacy. We advocate for laws uh, that protect women in such circumstances, the women who are most vulnerable. So that entails you know, working with those in authority and putting pressure on the government to be more responsive to the voices of women and to be more responsive to women who are survivors uh, of prostitution. So, um, uh, uh, so equality now, although we, want, we don't work directly with uh, those women who have been prostituted, uh, but um, our approach is um, you know, um, ensuring that the laws are more responsive yeah. and that uh, government provides exit programs, exit programs meaning you know that women who are in prostitution are given, you know, uh, uh, jobs. You know um, um, that uh, you know so the social aspects of government are able to respond to the needs of these women. Uh, but uh, your question, uh, coming back to your question around, you know, what do we do all as well? Is we work with local organisations um, that provide direct support to the link victims, to the and that's that's our link because we are not present uh, okay. in every country. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's also one thing I want us to know, uh, prostitution in Liberia, like, that is uh, sex for money is accepted, like uh, under the law, if uh, that's the key where you choose, you can go about uh, pay me, I sleep with you, that's the key where you choose. But when it comes to uh, the discrimination rate, uh, it's very high. Like uh, the fact is, uh, when people get engaged into prostitution, they are always uh, vulnerable to men. Men will always be at the extreme end to be the one that will go and sleep with them. Uh -huh. But it's same men for them coming back into society to allow them to work, like you were saying, have work, go to school. The discrimination is very, very high. So I don't know if there's a, a program you are putting in place with this local organization that will be able to encourage it. And, okay, we are not saying that we should go for 100% end of prostitution, but that is very, very difficult, but to lower the rate of prostitution and discrimination. Um, equality now uh, believes that uh, prostitution itself is a system, uh, meaning that uh, you know um, there needs to be an elimination of the system that may, that prostitutes women. Um, um, uh, that uh, you know, prostitution is is is, is against human, human dignity yeah. um, uh, and is against human worth. Um, and that uh, uh, people who buy sex, indeed, are, are mostly men. Um, um, and it's prostitution, in our view, should not be considered as work. Um, indeed, international law has, all, uh, has linked prostitution to... Um, uh, a job? That to, you to, do uh, no, it's not even a job. Uh, prostitution is not work. Um, uh, international law, uh, Palermo Protocol itself, um, um, in terms of definition of trafficking, um, has uh, uh, has it, has in itself, uh, you know, talked about um, uh, uh, vulnerabilities that women face, um, including prostitution. Okay. Um, yes. So I would like to go there. I would like to understand that sticky part. Mm -hmm. That is uh, tracing human rights, uh, international law. Uh, I want to know what are the law on book for our prostitution in Liberia. Um, uh, trafficking. Is considered, and the Liberian law has uh, adopted the definition of trafficking that is in the Palermo Protocol. Okay. Uh, meaning that uh, you know, um, to satisfy the elements of of, uh, of trafficking, you have to prove the act that there was an act of trafficking. Yeah. That you have to pr prove the means, and that you have to prove the purpose. Uh, so when it comes to trafficking. 
for sexual exploitation is actually considered in the Liberian law. Um, uh, and indeed, uh, the Liberian law has talked about the consent um, yeah, yeah. Of, of, of a victim. That's what I was trying to refer yes. to, talking yeah. about uh, a girl can grow up today, yeah. uh, well educated, and get up and say, I want to be a prostitute. That is what I want to do. I want to sleep with men for money. That is how bad it is. The Lord will tell you that you have your right to life. We can't stop you. They will not come and chase you at your house because you want to do prostitution. But which is actually wrong. It is wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are understanding the connection I'm trying to make. Consent, uh, giving your consent to willfully uh, practice prostitution. Today we are discussing trafficking within Liberia and our guest is Madam Anita Rijong for the quality now and we really want to know that Liberia now personally gave their consent to that of the international law supporting women and girls that is uh, which make uh, prostitution a uh, crime within Liberia but there are a lot of prostitutions going around and uh, even our own police and people are being the ones supporting that act so today we are discussing how to really get rid of prostitution and trafficking within Liberia. Mm -hmm. So now that uh, the public is what is causing uh, trafficking and international law on it, so I want to know are uh, Liberia signatory to uh, any declaration uh, making prostitution a uh, crime? Um, indeed, um, I think if we just begin with the United Nations Convention, yeah. uh, the 1949 Convention, um, which all um, uh, countries in the world have a party to. So um, the 1949 Convention recognizes that uh, you know prostitution is inherently uh, uh, um, is against human dignity itself, and Liberia is part of that. Um, um, uh, Liberia is also uh, has also adopted the provisions of the Palermo Protocol, um, which is the protocol to prevent and suppress the trafficking of persons, which in itself recognizes that sexual exploitation. Um, uh, uh, is a violation um, and, and many women um, are exploited into prostitution bec uh, because they are vulnerable. Um, not only Liberian women, uh, but migrant women, um, uh, women who uh, are in poverty. Um, so um, Liberia itself, um, uh, with the Anti-Trafficking Act, um, has recognized that indeed sexual exploitation is a violation. Um, the United States Trafficking in Persons Report of 2017 uh, noted that uh, the government needs to put in place preventive measures. Equality Now uh, believes that uh, the government needs to put in place more measures and laws that protect uh, women um, and uh, that uh, prostitution itself is inherently uh, uh, viol is violence against women. Um, and it is exploitation. Um, and if more women are protected from this system of prostitution, then um, uh, uh, and the government needs to also put in place more measures that uh, that ensure that uh, you know uh, women's productivity is enhanced um, and that they are not exploited uh, in prostitution. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for being part of this program. And today we've been discussing. Uh, with Madam Anita Arjun. She's from uh, Equality Now, and uh, she was here on the working training on uh, human trafficking, and she's a lawyer. My name is Grace Williams, and my own title comment to the public is women are our um, mothers, they are your sisters, they are your friends, they are your grandmothers, they are special, they are unique. And how will you feel looking at your daughter in the street and selling her body for money? My name is Chris Williams. Do join me next week for another edition. Thanks for watching. You have a nice day. Bye bye for now.